Okay, so we have our cow that's tested positive uh, on one of the quarters when we performed a CMT. So the next thing we're going to do is take a sterile milk sample from her. That might be because we're going to send it away now for some bacteriology, or it might be that we're going to put it in the freezer and store it for when we next need it. So what we're going to need is a sterile sample pot. Uh, this is a clean pot, which means it's never been touched. What we're just going to do is take the lid off and leave it ready so that when we come to take our sample, we don't need to faff around too much with it. Some swabs that have got something on to clean the teat. So in this case, we're using some hibis scrub swabs uh, and then some spirit swabs. And the idea is you get in the, the teat as clean as possible, which means there's nothing there so that when we take the bacteriology sample, we know it's coming from the milk rather than the teat of the skin instead. So we're going to use our swabs that are already soaked in the hibis scrub uh, for cleaning up the teat. This is making sure that we get the, the full length of the teat and also the teat end as well to remove all the contamination. And these swabs are still coming off dirty, which means we'll keep going until we've had at least one or two clean swabs to make sure there's no obvious dirt on there. Okay, so we've cleaned off the teat. Uh, the next thing to do is to clean off the gloves that we're wearing, making sure that we've got no remnants of anything left on us. And that's with some surgical spirit. Get our sample pot ready that we've already loosened the lid on to make sure that we're not going to get too much debris trapped in it. We're going to collect the sample by getting the sample pot and tip, tipping it on one side, which means the milk can go straight in. And we don't need to worry um, about getting any bits of dust or straw entering the tub. So using the spirit swab, clean off the end of the teat completely. And we're going to just get a squirt of milk. So discard the first bit of four milk and then a squirt straight into the pot. And put the lid straight on that. So that's all the sample we need, just one decent squirt worth to make sure we have a few mils. Um, sometimes it's worth getting an extra mil or two if you're going to freeze it. Um, but other than that, that's all we need to send away to the lab. Don't worry about filling the pot up. Each time you take a squirt from the cow, that's how you risk contaminating your sample. So a small amount is all they need to check for bacteriology. So we've now got our milk sample ready to send away. We can either send it in the post today or we can pop it in the freezer and, and uh, keep it in case we want to send it. Make sure you label it with the cow and which quarter it is um, and keep a note if you're going to treat it so we know what antibiotic we've used if we want to send it. But this can straight away go ready for packaging.